Um, what we're going to be doing today is cleaning the speed transducer and that is a little magnetic wheel that is on the bottom of the boat and as it the boat moves through the water that little wheel spins and then the pickup in the transducer you know recognizes the motion of the wheel and basically reports back to the um, helm how fast the boat's moving um, at least on the Great Lakes and Lake Erie here, we got a lot of zebra mussels that like to attach themselves to the little wheel. And um, sometimes they clean off while you're going through the water and sometimes they don't. And then that wheel just stops moving. So you have to clean it. And I guess you could go and uh, swim underneath the boat and clean it that way. That's one way to do it. Um, but if you're in a marina, you don't want to get in the water uh, for electrical shock, all those types of things. So you can clean it from inside the boat. So the way you do that is that the through haul that this transducer sits in has a one-way flap. It's like a little uh, stopper valve. So when you pull the transducer out, that valve or that little flap comes back and it stops the majority of the water from coming in. Some water will still get in. And then there's a temporary plug that you can put in place to stop the water altogether from coming in while you clean the transducer. And then when it's time to you know, put the transducer back in, you pull the temporary plug out. So um, hopefully I'm going to be able to show you how that works here and um, let's see how it goes. All right, so a quick disclaimer here. The day I decided to do this, it was like 95 degrees, super high humidity, and it was raining outside. So I had all the port lights closed and it did not have a single fan or the air conditioner going because I didn't want a lot of background noise. So on uh, this 1988 Catalina 30, this is under the, uh, the port side settee. And it's in this little compartment down here. So we'll get some light down in there. And um, the cool thing about this little compartment is that it, um, it's kind of like water it's got a little ledge so the water won't get out of this this chamber here and it allows you to um, work on this get a little bit of water in here and then be able to uh, vacuum it out so that's what I have I have a, a little shop back with the filter removed I have a bucket and some little tools to clean up the transducer so we'll go ahead and pull that out and uh, see how this goes So if you notice on um, if you notice on this one here, we have uh, some safety wire uh, in place so that the uh, nut doesn't back off, you know, and uh, cause this to pop out. Um, I can't find my extra spool of this uh, safety wire, so I'm gonna have to reuse this one. I don't like doing that because it kind of gets a bend in it and it gets fatigued and then it can break. But um, I will. Uh, you know get some more of that and fix this up and I'm doing all this I'm right-handed I'm holding the camera this is all new to me so I'm doing it uh, with my left hand not natural to me <laughs> um, but let me uh, get this uh, pulled off here and then um, we'll remove it and see what uh, happens next And this is the uh, temporary plug that goes in place. And you wanna make sure that you have some, uh, you know, a nice coating of silicone on the gasket on the O-ring here. So when you put it in, it doesn't um, bind up. And if you notice, uh, these all have an arrow pointing forward because this through haul is kind of keyed a little bit. Uh, definitely it has to be so this wheel is facing the right direction, uh, but this blank does kind of the same thing. So that's that piece.
So that's about it. Not too much water comes in. And I know I just messed the whole camera shot up. But uh, yeah, so this is what we end up on on this thing here. Let me get the camera back out. So that thing is pretty gross. No way that that is going to spin easily through the water. And uh, pretty nasty stuff. I got an extra length here so I can set this out on the, uh, on the settee here. And we'll get to cleaning it. So I am going to use some of this uh, silicone grease here, Marlube. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. I know that was a lot. There's already quite a bit up here. Okay, so now it's kind of just doing the opposite of what we did. And um, like I said, it has a direction uh, to tell you which way it goes in. So, hopefully we're getting good light on this subject down here. Okay, so like I said, a little bit of water gets in here, but not too much. And I'll get the shop vac and we'll just uh, clean that up. And I'll replace that uh, wire that came off of here. And uh, that's kind of all there is to it. I have to do that maybe two, three times uh, a season. All right, so that's about it. Uh, just button everything back up and enjoy the rest of your sailing season.